Welcome back to Mental Math. Here's a limit that breaks the rules. Sign x over x as x approaches zero. That's famous. It equals one. But when x goes to infinity, something completely different happens. And the reason why is more interesting than the answer itself. We can't evaluate this by direct substitution. And here's where it gets interesting. Wait! If you're thinking about Le Hopital's rule right now, you're walking into a trap. Let me show you why. Taking the derivative of sine x gives cosine x, but here's the problem. Cosine of x oscillates forever between negative 1 and 1. It never settles. Le Hopital's rule requires the numerator to approach a limit. And here, it just won't. The rule fails completely. So we need a different tool. The squeeze theorem is perfect for this job. The squeeze theorem, sometimes called the sandwich theorem, says that if we can trap our function between two simpler functions that are both heading to the exact same limit, then our function has no choice but to go to that same limit as well. Our first step is to find two functions that can sandwich our expression. The absolute core of this proof relies on a simple, universal fact. The sine function always oscillates between negative 1 and positive 1. It can never be greater than 1 or less than negative 1. To make the middle part look like our original problem, we need to divide every single part of this inequality by x. Since x is approaching positive infinity, we know x is a large positive number. So dividing by it doesn't change the direction of the inequality signs. Look at this. The sine function is trapped. It can wiggle all at once, but those bounds are closing in like a vice. As x gets larger, the wiggle room shrinks to nothing. This is the beautiful part. We just turned an oscillating mess into a simple inequality. Now, we must find the limits of our two outer sandwiching functions as x approaches infinity. We'll use a fundamental limit rule. The limit of any constant c divided by x to any positive power as x approaches infinity is always zero. This is because the denominator grows infinitely large while the numerator stays fixed. Let's evaluate the limit of our lower bound negative 1 over x. Based on our rule, as the denominator becomes infinitely large, the fraction approaches 0. Similarly, let's evaluate the limit of our upper bound positive 1 over x. For the exact same reason, this limit is also 0. And now the trap snaps shut. Both boundaries converge to 0. We've shown that both of our outer functions are heading to the same destination. The trap is set. We start again with our established inequality. Now we apply the limit as x a approaches infinity to all three parts of the inequality. We just calculated the limits of the outer two parts. Substituting their values, we get this remarkable result. Our limit is squeezed between zero and zero. If a value is greater than or equal to zero, and also less than or equal to zero, there's only one number it can possibly be. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, the limit must be zero. That's the squeeze theorem doing exactly what it promises, forcing a stubborn function to reveal its limit. Now I want to show you something that makes this impossible to forget. We're going to watch the squeeze happen in real time. First, we set up our coordinate plane, looking far out on the x-axis. Here are our two bounding functions, 1 over x and negative 1 over x. Watch how they form a funnel, a trap that's slowly closing as we move along the x-axis. And here's sine x over x. Look at it oscillating, trying to escape, but the amplitude shrinks with every wave. It's fighting infinity and losing. As x goes to infinity, the function has nowhere else to go. It's squeezed tighter and tighter towards a limit of zero. A beautiful visual proof. Here's the big idea. 
When you mix oscillation with infinity, the oscillation doesn't just persist, it gets crushed. The squeeze theorem let us prove what intuition suggested but couldn't guarantee. Thanks for watching. We started with a limit that looked like its famous cousin but behaved completely differently. Zero instead of one. All because infinity changes everything. If you want to see more limits that surprise you, hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time.